to the channel. Today's video is gonna be a long overdue video. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do this video and actually tell you how much I spent to go full bolt on. Well, here's the day, today's the video. We got Dusty right here looking beautiful as ever. Girlfriend in the cut. So uh, yeah, man, let's get down to the mods. So how I'm gonna do this video, I'm gonna list out the mods, the price, and like the use value if you want to pick it up use because this is, i'm gonna show you guys how to do it for cheap but if you want to spend the full price of these stuff be my guess i guess it's not really smart but yeah if you spend if you spend the same amount you spend to go full bolt on buying new parts you might as well just go turbo but since i spent less than a thousand dollars to go full bolt on why not so uh yeah man let's, let's start it off with the easy stuff first i'm gonna show you guys some stuff that i have that you don't need to go full bolt on but it's just you know if you guys want to install it you can install it so uh first thing first i do have a cutie bushings shifter cable bushings right there those cost like 70 or 80 dollars brand new if you look online or if you go on the market uh facebook marketplace you probably could find them from cheaper for like 50 dollars 40 dollars but it's not really needed to go full bolt on but it does help a lot with shifting because you guys don't know it's kind of hard to bang second in these cars unless you do the cdv cdv uh delete which i haven't done yet and i don't want to do because i heard that's a pain in the butt to get done uh second mod you guys know that i had a k2 three inch intake that used to route this way with the old uh manifold but now i have a k2 uh 3.5 inch intake which goes behind the front headlight which is pretty good it does heat soak at times but at night time it does pretty well like 80 low 80s um i do want to do like a headlight mod so i can have more airflow to the intake but i don't know what i'm going to do yet you guys you guys should probably see a video i don't know when but definitely you guys are going to see a video on how to make this operate way better because you know in south florida it does flood and you don't want to risk my um hydro locking your motor so yeah i'm trying to find out a mod i could do i don't want to run the intake through the headlight Cause I just feel like this doesn't it looks clean but I just feel like it's too like it's too showy I don't want to show people that I have a you know V stack headlight intake uh, I don't want that you guys could get this intake for 250 or 260 online and it does come with the battery tray I did relocate my battery with the k2 uh, battery location kit uh, that comes with the whole kit so that cost me 260 I bought that brand new because I couldn't find any used deals on it. You know what sucks the most is when you buy a part and then you go on the Facebook marketplace or you go on offer up or something like that and you find the same part for cheaper, somebody's selling it. Literally after I bought this intake for 260, somebody was selling it for 180 with the whole kit. So yeah, you, you guys just gotta just, you know, ask. So you probably find some good deals. But yeah, that came with the kit. I have the PRL battery location uh, clutch line. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. So that goes with the battery kit. That didn't come with the kit though. You have to buy that separate. Or you could buy the PRL uh, battery location kit for the car. But what's the point if that, you know, K2 comes with it. So uh, yeah, that's, that's what's been done to the intake. That's literally it. Uh, RBC, RBC goes brand new for like, I think 250 or something like that. I seen it higher, but I don't really know. But I think it's 250, might be a little bit lower. I bought mine for 180 use. Couldn't beat that price. It performs way better than stock manifold. And I do recommend going RBC swap. Such a cleaner power band and the top end feels crazy now. So yeah, I do recommend going RBC. If you guys are like in a budget and you guys really, really want RBC, I say buy it for like, like use or go to the junkyard. Don't buy it brand new because that's a lot. Especially if people selling it for $100 on Facebook or offer up and stuff like that. I bought mine for 180 though. Also for the RBC install, you do need the PRL kit. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's right there. You do need a PRL uh, adapter kit. That cost me 150 I could have bought it cheaper. You can find people selling that thing for $100 to be honest. It comes with the plate. comes with the, uh, what's it called? What's this called again? Uh, throttle body spacer. And it comes with hoses. The nuts, the bolts, all that stuff for you to put the RBC on. And uh, yeah, it's literally a direct swap. It's no, you don't have to cut the coolant. You don't gotta do nothing with that. Uh, literally just buy RBC, buy the kit, and you can throw it on your car. 
for the fueling system, I am on stock injectors with the P2R kit. It's just an adapter kit for the uh, RBC since the stock injectors won't fit the RBC without it. There's ways you can run stock injectors on RBC, but they have to be like the 8th gen or they just have to be aftermarket uh, injectors because the stock 9th gen ones won't fit this at all. So don't buy the RBC if you think you're just going to stick these in and they're going to work because it's not. You're going to be highly disappointed. I know a lot of you guys probably like, why didn't you go RDX? I didn't go RDX because I didn't see the point at the time. It's from like the videos I watched of people going RDX, they really just made like 10 extra horsepower or five extra horsepower. I made 218, so if I probably went RDX, I probably made like 220 or like 224 or something like that. I didn't really see the purpose. I know it's a safety thing too, cause your fuel cycle, your fuel duty or something like that is like at 90 with uh, stock injectors. Plus, I know RDX, you also could run E85, but I don't really beat on my car like that, so I didn't really see the purpose, and I don't keep it up in a high RPMs like, like how people do when you go to the track and stuff. It's just a street fun car. Plus, RDX do cost a pretty little penny. It does cost like $300, $400 to go RDX. Plus, you gotta get the clips and all that stuff. I didn't see the purpose of doing that just to make five extra horsepower or 10 extra horsepower. Now I am running a cash can. A lot of people are probably going to be like, oh, you're not boosted. Why do you need a cash can? You don't need to be boosted to run a cash can. It's just good for your motor. It does, does a good job. It has so much gunk in it and you just recycle all that stuff and all that nasty stuff is going back in your motor. You might as well just delete it and get a cash can and make your motor run cleaner. All right, you guys probably can't see it. I'm trying to see if I can zoom in on it, but I, I don't think you... Oh, wait, wait, that's it right there. Yep, that's it. Um, I'm on a Skunk 2 downpipe, 3 inch downpipe. The downpipe only cost me 120, so I got that downpipe for a steal, boy. If you guys wanna, you know, do something to your car, always check if you can find it used first, because it definitely beats buying stuff for brand new. That downpipe, brand new, costs like 330. $330 for a downpipe. I paid 120, bro. And there's so many people selling downpipes for cheap. You just have to go look, bro. Don't spend that price point of $300, $400 on a downpipe when there's somebody in your area or somebody who's willing to ship it out to you for $100 or $120 or $180. You, you're saving so much money. You could go, that, that price right there could buy you something else. If you spend $300 on a downpipe and somebody out there selling it for $180, that's, bro, that's literally half the price. That's crazy. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh, I don't trust buying for people. Sometimes people scam me, blah, blah, blah. I mean, if it's a local pickup and you go and pick it up in person and you can look and physically touch it and it's, nothing is wrong with it, then just buy it, bro. Now, if it's online, just try to get as much pictures as you can and make sure when you do PayPal, don't do Cash App, don't do Vmo, don't do nothing that's just, just giving cash. Do PayPal. If the guy doesn't want to do PayPal, then don't do it. If he wants to do it friends and family, wherever that's called, don't do it because he's going to scam you. Gotcha, bitch. Now, if it's a business thing, and it's like business services, I don't know what it's called on PayPal, then you have a chance, if they do scam you, you have a chance to get your money back. Well, you have a big chance because PayPal always, always sides with the person who's buying. I know you guys are probably like, how much did the tune cost and what are you on? Are you on K-Tuner or are you on Home Data? The tune cost me $300 flat. No charges, no dyno time, $300 flat. And then the, the device that I'm on, my tuning system is K-Tuner. I will recommend for you guys to get Honda data, even though it's kind of pricey, but you can find it cheaper online. Well, not online. You can find it cheaper in like the marketplace. You can find somebody probably selling it for $400, $300, $500 if you're lucky. You can find that crap for like $200, bro. But uh, my K-Tuner, it was literally $450 or something like that. So that's not that bad. That's literally, was it $450? Yeah, it was $450. It's literally $300 cheaper. No, $200 cheaper than uh, Honda data brand new. So yeah, man, K-Turner is the way. Well, for right now it is. Also for the exhaust, I'm on Testudo. Testudo, I always say the name wrong. I don't really know how you pronounce it. Somebody corrected me and I still say it wrong, but uh, Testudo exhaust. It's a 2.75 catback exhaust, uh, straight from the downpipe, you know, yada, yada, yada. It only cost me uh, $200 when I bought it, or a little bit more than that, but yeah, it wasn't that expensive. It sounds just like the NVIDIA N1, just a little bit quieter since it's not the same diameter as it. The NVIDIA is a three inch and this is a 2.75. So uh, 
yeah man, i'm gonna give you guys some sound clips in case, in case you guys want to hear it but the downpipe is pretty loud and it do have a, a small leak in the mid pipe that i need to go get fixed but uh yeah man here's the sound clip I don't know if you guys heard it, but the leak is somewhere in the mid pipe. I don't know where at, or it's probably by the axle back itself. But yeah, man, the car does sound nice when it's not as hot. When it's hot, it does have that little raspiness because that leak and stuff. But once I get it fixed, it's gonna sound completely beautiful again. But uh, yeah, man, that's the car. That's dusty for you guys. Made 218 on K tuner, 218 171 torque, K tuner. $300 tune by Durf. Card runs healthy, card runs strong, pulls hard as freaking steel. I don't know, steel goes in the pool, but that thing pull hard, boy. Okay. All right, so that's how I want full bolt-ons for cheap for Dusty. All right, guys, so if you guys enjoyed the video, please smash that like button, comment, subscribe, follow your boy on Instagram at underscore got the soda. And uh, yeah, man, that's gonna be it for the video. Boys out, peace.